Pokemon Generation 10. So there have been some rumors and potential leaks that Generation 10 starter Pokemon have actually already been completely finished and developed and everything alongside pretty much every single Pokemon within Generation 10. So I thought it'd be really cool to check out some Generation 10 concept art from people on the internet and see what will be the most accurate. We'll probably get Generation 10 on the next Nintendo console, so it'll probably be another couple years, I'd say. So I guess I'll look back on this video in a few years and see which one was the most accurate. Alright, so here's the first trio we got. We got Snailead, Candorito, and Narvalil. Narvalil? Narvalil? These are really good creations, honestly. I think my favorite is probably Snailead or Snailead. I think that looks great. I think Candorito looks a little bit funny with his nose. I feel like he could... I feel like the nose could be a little bit reworked to not look so weird. Uh, and then Narvalil looks great. That is an awesome looking Pokemon. I think the design of the typing looks really good for these Pokemon. I would definitely pick Snalid though. I think that's just like the most finished and the cutest, I guess I'd say. Cutest, coolest looking Pokemon out of this potential trio. The next one, the art isn't as detailed, but you guys get the hint. We got Brachnid, Mustlet and Drine... Okay, I don't know if that's a typo or not, but it's Drine Wit. Drine WT. That's kind of weird. My favorite, once again, has to go to the grass type. Brachnid, Arachnid, Branch, I'm assuming. Branch Arachnid. That's a great name. I think that that's a, that's a really good name right there. And I could definitely see that being a really awesome looking starter Pokemon if the design was just a little bit more polished. This person's, you know, they're trying hard, but it looks great. I think Muslet looks really good as well. I think Drynewit looks okay. I feel like his uh, evolutions may be better looking than that. I don't really know what the name Drynewit stands for. That's confusing me. I think the colors look great for the Pokemon though. I mean, you got the grass type with the brown and green, the fire type with the orange and like beige, and then of course the water type with the blue and blue. Looks really good. Next up we got Bearlil. Chiraffe and Mincrest. I think once again the water type is probably the my least favorite and I, this might be a tie between Barlow and Chiraffe. You know what I think I might have to give it to the grass type again. This is this is crazy. Three in a row the grass type in my opinion is the best looking design. I think the tail looks great and the face the facial features and the colors and that design I think is crazy. I think it's really unique, and it doesn't look like any other Pokemon to me. Minkrest kind of reminds me of Oshawa, and then Giraffe kind of obviously reminds me of like Giraffarig or Farigaraf or whatever. We already have a Giraffe Pokemon and Zebstrika, so I, I feel like that one's okay for a starter. I feel like that would be, I feel like Giraffe would be better just for like a regular Generation 10 Pokemon itself and not the starter. But Barlow, I really want to see the um evolutions to that because that's a great looking pokemon okay i'm serious okay this is crazy i think i'm gonna give this next one number four i think i'm gonna give it to grass again we got floriguan floriguan i'm gonna say that's yeah floriguan vipernal and crabble crabule dude i think the water type is the worst again this is insane floriguan floriguana no floriguan that looks that looks great i think that design is unique I feel like maybe the face could be polished a little bit more. Vipernal, he's a cute snake. I think that's a great design, honestly. That That's a really, really good design. The flame coming off of his head is definitely, like, the best part, the most unique about it. And then Crabule, I don't know. He looks too round. Kind of looks like an egg. And I can't imagine his evolutions looking that good because it's a crab. I feel like you can't really... You can't really be extremely unique with a crab, almost, because you kind of have to keep it looking like a, a an entire crab. So, I'm going to give this one to the grass starter again, but the fire starter is a really close contender for the second, or for first place. I mean, I think the flame just gets it. Next up, we got Rollin, Flamir, and Plummet. This one, I don't know which one's the best. Maybe... Hmm, I might give this one to the water type out of these three. I'm not really crazy about any of these designs, though. I feel like Flamir could be really great if the design, once again, was just polished and kind of kind of more straightened out a bit, maybe by somebody else. I like the direction they're going in, though. I think Rawlin looks pretty good, but I don't think that's the right shade of green for it. I think it should be a lighter shade of green. 
and then maybe some more distinct colors in the face maybe or his ears at least i don't know that design looks a little too dark to me i think the water starter is the best so finally the grass starter isn't the best out of the trio but yeah this these designs aren't amazing these ones are actually really good as well veer deer scribbit and kura cub kura cub uh, let's see. This, these are pretty good. I'm gonna give this one to Scribbit, though. That's a really unique design. I feel like we need more frog Pokemon. What I like about this, too, is that he gave this Pokemon game a name. Pokemon Valor and Wisdom. And little descriptions of each Pokemon. So, Veer Deer is a shy deer Pokemon capable of making the leaves on its back grow to give it a place to hide. That's a unique feature. And then, Scribbit, the fire starter, a clumsy frog Pokemon that likes eating metal which then melts in its mouth. That is insane. That's pretty sick. I don't even notice. He has like lava coming out of his mouth. I think that's that's uh, pretty unique. And then Kuro Cub is a brave cub Pokemon whose resolve is unmatched on and off the battlefield. That's sick. I think Veerdeer is my least favorite out of this trio. Scribbit looks great, but I feel like Scribbit's evolutions may be iffy. I feel like the evolution line would have to be really good. I'm not the biggest fan of like Pokemon that stand on their two feet and look more like human, like the humanoid Pokemon. Not saying that Scribbit looks like a humanoid, but I could definitely see his evolutions possibly looking like a human. But I think his face is cool, and um, I'm liking that design a lot. This next one is hilarious. I I don't know who made this one. It was probably a little kid, but I, I just thought it was so funny. I had to show you guys. We got Turtferno, Grassosaurus. And then Scuba Diver. These names are impeccable. And, dude, they're all amazing designs. I think these are all incredible designs. And I don't... Yeah. I think that's about it. Like, look at Grassosaurus. He's just a dinosaur grass type. Scuba Divor. Amazing name. He's a, he's a scuba diver. I mean, I guess he's technically a snorkeler. Because he has, he's wearing a snorkel. and not a scuba, you know, scuba tank. So I guess you could call him, like, snorkeler. Or snorkel diver. I don't know. And Turtferno actually could be a really cool design if that was polished up. Honestly, Turtferno and Grassosaurus could be extremely cool looking Pokemon if like a professional made this. I I get the idea with Scoop Diver, but I'm just not feeling it to be honest. I just thought this was hilarious. I, I really wish I could find the creator of this and do an interview with them because that's just that's just amazing. I mean Turtferno is a turtle inferno. Like he has flames coming off of him. I just think that's great. And I feel like we need more dinosaur looking Pokemon. I know we have a few already, but I feel like we definitely need more. And one that's a grass type is uh, pretty, pretty cool. I wonder if that's a leaf on his tail. I would assume that's a leaf and not a flame. I think a leaf would be cool. Or like a, yeah, no, it's probably a leaf. This one is also pretty funny. We got Crocograss. I think that's his Flantle. And then Chim Water. So these names are not that great but the designs are pretty funny chim water is a chimp water type which you know you could say we already have that with panpour i get the idea though i don't think we really need it i feel like chim water is okay flantle or flamtle he has a crazy hairstyle he wakes up in the morning and he puts hair gel spikes his hair up that's a crazy design and then crocograss i actually really like this design that could be a really sick looking Pokemon. Kind of reminds me of Fue Coco though, because we recently got, you know, Fue Coco in Generation 9. Um, but you know, imagine Fue Coco in a gra as a grass type. I think that would be really pretty cool. Let me know which trio was your favorite in this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for future videos, guys. I can't wait for Generation 10. I'm also interested to know if you have any like predictions or theories for Generation 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.